Go live. I wish I would have held my AOS overnight. I got scared out. You held it, right? A. AOS? OAS? OAS. Yeah. I, yeah. He's like, of course I did, motherfucker. All right. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're live. Can everybody hear me? Because I changed rooms today. I'm in a completely secluded location in the house. I'm in a separate bedroom now. Locked away. He's in his bondage room. Yes, from distraction. Yes, my bondage room. Anyways. Alright, so this morning uh, has been a great... And I'm about to add to my short on this genus right here, right now. I don't even got that up on a chart. There's too much of this stuff moving. There is, huh? It's still, well, I'm just playing the backside of the move. Uh, maybe I don't want to get too aggressive on it. Okay, yes, everybody can hear me. Plus, put yes if you can hear me. Good, because I changed. I change. I'm in a separate location. I'm out of the living room. The in-laws are in town today, so I was like, I can't trade and do a live stream with everybody in the living room, fucking making a big giant. Because I have an open concept in my house where the the kitchen, the living room, binding, everything's fucking one room. So now I'm upstairs in the bedroom. I uh, woke up to a couple of winners, already paid myself. One of them was Genus. I just covered some down here in the 570s, and then I just added back. My new average is now $6.34. Uh, I'm going to make mine super quick so Henry can get into his shit because Henry crushed it over the weekend. Uh, Expa, I was short this one. Let me go through the setup. So I'm expecting a first red day today. So well, I mean, I guess I guess uh, I don't think I don't think Friday was officially red on Genus. So, but yeah, I just covered some. I'm short from uh, two dollars and forty-seven cents. I was short on Friday. I was short from close to three dollars into this bounce flush down. Covered down here around two, and then short reshorted the bounce, uh, and so now the red to green on X spot is two thirty eight. So two thirty eight, I'm looking to add close to two thirty eight, and then uh, fade it. I might add a little bit right here at two thirteen. Actually, yes, I am going to add some. Just, uh, I already paid myself this morning. I've covered half of it into this flush down here, uh, like 195, I think. And so now I'm going to short just a little bit more, see if there's shares. All right, yep, there's some shares. All right, so Henry, what ticker would you like to start with first? Oh, uh, okay. What are you current? What do, what do you currently have right now? Current position right now? Um, I, well, I still have a little bit of OAS. Yes, I didn't sell it all. Okay. So I initially bought OAS Friday at no. You bought it early. You alerted me, and I didn't buy it, and then I bought it into the close. I chased it. Jesus Christ. And I held it all, all day. Well, I sold some into that push going into the close. I sold, started selling at 90 cents because I'm like, well, see if it gets to a dollar. I sold all the way up to a dollar. And then it blew past a dollar. So I'm like, eh, I'm going to hold the rest of these. And then you sold it into the gap up, huh? Uh, well, I sold a little bit this morning at 170. And I still have a few, few shares left that I'm just going to see what it's holding. So I'm going to see what it does. Uh, last night Henry texted me. He's like, I think 
I'm pretty sure DGLY is going to go. And I was like, I think you're probably right. You you sold all of that one? Well, no, so I bought that one with Mark Crook. On Thursday. Yeah. At two, he held it for two days. That's nice patience, Henry. Well, I sold some Friday into 250, 60, and 275. Okay, I see it. Into that spike. And then it pulled back, and then I was, if it was going to tank, I was going to dump it. But, but it held VWAP, so I'm like, yeah, held V up perfectly, man. Try this out today and see what it does. I was long also on DGOY yeah, so on I Friday. Sold. I sold. I got out. I sold. I sold most of it this morning at four fifty. And then now it's dumping. God, this thing is a piece of God. Lee, look at that fucking red candle, Jesus. Well, it's just regained VWAP now. So I sold, like I said, all of it mostly at four fifty, but I held a hundred shares just to like. See what it does, and then I was doing so much other stocks this morning, and I missed the drop there. So when I looked, I'm like, ugh. But I still, I'm still in at two bucks, so I'm, I can't. I mean, I, I'm still up. Now it's coming back, so hopefully that regains. Uh, that bore B O R R that I bought Friday. Once it hit a dollar. So you bought it on Friday. Once it hit a dollar. Okay, I remember that one. And then... You held it over? The I weekend? held it. And then I sold this morning at 150, 160, and 170. And I'm still holding 200 shares just to see what it does. So dabble a little bit with it and see if it makes a push. Matt Alvarado's long DGLY at 315. You bought that this morning? Or just now? Okay, yeah. Well, he bought, he dip bought it. So Matt dip bought at 315. I sold some of my PRTY this morning at two bucks. Oh yeah, that one gapped up. Yeah, Party. Still long from a dollar on that one, so. Yeah, these are the two that you texted me about. You're like, I think Party and, and DGLY is going to gonna go tomorrow morning, and they did. Yeah. So you're all out of this one? Party? Yeah. Uh, no, I have 100 shares left. I sold most of them, though, at the two bucks, but I'm like, well, we'll see if it continues. What else you and got? I bought that ENOB this morning, and I nailed that sucker. I would have nailed it even better if I would. I had all them stocks this morning, and I was selling it. You know, bits and pieces, and alerts were going off because my my cells were getting hit, and I missed the alert on ENOB. Like I could have probably seen it at six dollars. Wow. But Jeez. I read the news. They put out news of potential HIV cure, whatever. And I'm like, this is gonna go. It was squeezing. Like I jumped in real quick. Only bought fifty shares at thirteen thirty, and I sold at nineteen, eighteen thirty, and nineteen thirty. I think I made a quick couple hundred bucks scalping that sucker. It was awesome. I tried to short it this morning on this little pop up to seventeen, but there's no shares to short, so I got out. It's up. It was up two hundred thirty eight percent on the day. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, it's probably gonna fade a little bit, but. So I'm out of that yes. one. What about, hey, buying Dem wants to uh, look at Val. Let's look at VAL. Oh, yeah, I bought that. Sorry, I forgot about that one. You bought this one too? Jesus Christ, Henry. Bought everything. Yeah, I bought that. Ooh, look at, dude, look at VAL. That was a nice winner yeah, on Friday. I bought hours at 90 cents. Okay. On Friday. Sold into that push this morning to Damn, a lot of shit it. gapped up. Tons of stuff gapped up, huh? Well, all these are basically oil stocks. Oh, the oil stocks are hot right now. Yeah, they were gapping up all of them after hours, so I knew them. Like, they're all gapping up. As long as something crazy don't happen over the weekend with oil. But there is news reports that we're going to be in demand for oil now with the country opening up. So I'm like... Most of these oil stocks are going to run. So that's why I got in all of them and they all ran. So. That makes sense. It's a very good logic, Henry. So yeah, I hit double my, over double my daily goals. So I'm basically just 
watching the rest of these shows I have. I'm sitting on my hands. I'm not getting in anything unless it's a spectacular setup. Uh, you still have some bow? Uh, yeah, I got a hundred shares left. All right, yeah, buying them is in at uh, ninety-eight cents. Nice man. Did you pay yourself? Up here in the one nineties buying. I hope you did. I hope you paid yourself something up here in the one nineties or one eighties, one seventies. Yeah, to get almost a dollar share a share. That's so when I buy these cheap shit stocks, I usually buy three to five hundred to a thousand shares and then I sell them in the push and I usually hang on to maybe a hundred or two just to see if they just keep going. If they don't, I get out before it gets to my to my entry price. So, okay, other top percent gainers, uh, S, SPCB is also, SPCB, huh, nah, it already sold off. Are you watching that one? Yeah, I looked at it, I didn't, I'm glad I didn't get in it this morning. Uh, CTHR, another top percent gainer, LONE. C H E I D Y A. Got anything you like about any of those? No, but I was watching T E L L. T E L L. Tell. Yeah. Okay. So I think it was on one of my people I follow. They mentioned it that it could potentially run, so it did gap up, pulled back, kind of blah blah blah. Now it looks like it's trying to start to make its way towards VWAP. So I had good volume on Friday. Yeah. And it's gapping up. Oh, uh, excuse me. Yeah, Matt Alvarado, don't overstay your welcome with the DGLY, man. If you get a nice, if you get a squeeze up, don't be afraid to sell into that. Sell some of it at least. Uh, you're already in the money right now. Uh, Buy-in wants us to look at AXAS. AXAS, yes. Yeah, I think that's another oil play. I think I've seen that too, but I was just like, God, I have too many stuff. I can't. You can't keep up with it all. Yeah. Uh, so that one's a former runner. Ran fairly recently, back in April. Went for 15 so cents to 55. The last time... The sector was hot and all. So they're all kind of basically crapping out right now. And they might, they're either going to do, obviously, squeeze or dump at the open. But they're going to, they're, they typically, out of all these I bought, I'm not done with them. They're, they're going to probably, one or two is going to run again today, like at some point. That's what they did the last couple times the sector ran. Like, they, they gap up, they move. <sighs> Off, and then middle day they start start moving again for day two. I mean, because this is technically day one, right? Because they all gapped up Friday, so this would, I mean, technically day one for them, right? Well, I mean, on this one, AXAS, I mean, day one was really Friday. They had a, they had a green day on Friday. And then now it's gapping up, so today would be day two. Gotcha. Uh, maybe all the old stocks move Friday, just not crazy. So it could be day two for all of them, I guess. But still, that's just something to keep in mind. That's, I mean, that's what I'm, like, all these, I got them all on charts, the ones I'm no longer in, and they start reversing. Might have to dabble. Brian says he covered at 177. What did he cover at 177? Must have been, I don't know what he covered. Matt, well, Matt, look at Matt. Matt's, yeah. Matt's long Val OAS and WLL. I'm gonna look at WLL. Hmm. Wow. You're having a good morning, huh, Matt? It feels like Christmas in June. Christmas in June. Look at that daily chart. WLL squeezed up to 225, sold off, and now it's bouncing. So I'll put that one on a side watch. See how high it can go. 
the resistance at 225 hit a high this morning of 225 Okay, so if it gets over 225, that will be a breakout on the daily chart on WLL. Look at that. Well, if it gets over, actually on the daily chart, if it gets over 239, WLL has got a float of 89 million. So it's got a pretty big float, but I'll watch it. Throw it up on the side chart. Expa. Or WL. Oh. All right. So this one gapping up. Hopefully that one squeezes for you. I'd like to see it go. If it breaks out, if WL breaks out over this uh, 225, I might be a buyer there. Um. Because then, because then it it matches up. It kind of aligns up with the uh, daily chart and the intraday chart. So you get a break over the pre market highs. Also, it's going to be breaking out. I mean, 240 at 239 would really be the breakout over on the daily, but still 225, it's close to it. So if it gets over 225, it's probably going to get over 239. Um, tops, TOPS taking a shit. And they did an offering. I looked at that offering 20 million shares at 12 cents. Jonathan, how are you liking Investors Underground? You like it okay or not? You've been taking advantage of the webinars and stuff like that. I haven't been doing enough on there. But it's okay. I can only dedicate so much time a day to fucking webinars and trading and watching stocks and fuck. And, and fucking? And that too. I'm afraid to have sex. I haven't got my vasectomy yet. No more babies for this guy. So far, I hope they don't give up, uh, give it up like a little hoe, as Brian would say. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, I would say that. I have said that. Okay, so we got three minutes till the open. A uh, few minutes. Yeah, Nate's good. He puts out some good alerts. Uh, it's a purely... It's, the whole room's fucking short bias, though. Have you not noticed that? Yeah, the whole room is short bias, Jonathan. It's like, you know, I'm like thinking to myself, man, I'm glad... I'm glad. I'm glad I have Henry. I'm glad I have someone that's a, has a long biased brain because, you know, if I was just in that room and that room alone, it just would just feed my short, degenerate habits. Pal Cash in the room. Good morning. Long Fet F E T. It's one I haven't heard of. Let's look at it real fast. Only got a couple of minutes till the market opens. F E T. Is this another oil play? Gapping up with everything else? I think so, yeah. New York Stock Exchange, there'll be a breakout on the daily chart over 59 cents or 60 cents. For me, my top watch, I'm short Genus and x so I will, I'll be, that's going to be my top watch at the open. And we're about to go here in a minute 20. Are you still guy? Uh, I was never in HTZ. Um, what about you, Henry? Are you still long HTZ? I just got 50 shares left. Of course he is. Henry's a buying machine. As uh, Jamie says. S-I-N-O. We didn't get to that one, Razor. I don't know if S-I-N-O has any volume or news or... Oh, it gapped up daily. Uh, all right, we'll have to look at it in a little bit. Time to uh, get down to business. Market's about to open. Gina's squeezing a little bit. Okay, 15 seconds. Morning, Bison. Market's about to open. Five seconds. Good luck, everybody.
Nothing hitting my Hyatt A scanner yet. The red, if anybody's short, the red to green is 594. So that's the level I'm looking for it to break under. If it starts, if Genus, I'm talking about Genus. If Genus, so it's farting, not farting, starting, starting to flush a little bit. But if it bounces off six and holds over 594 and holds six, then I'll be exiting. Hell, I might even go long. And my X spot flushing, flushing down to the 190s. So I'm probably going to use uh, 636 as my risk on Genus, which would be the high of this candle, which is basically my entry. All right, I covered one third of my X spot at 194. And if X spot bounces, X ball bounces up to the red to green is uh, 230, 235, 230, 236. So if X ball bounces, I'm going to look to reshort near to that red to green or green to, yeah, red to green and risk 240. And Genus is holding six so far, which I do not like. But we'll see if how, how much it can bounce. Genus bouncing a little bit. I almost covered down there at six. See how it holds 625. Probably should have covered it down at six. All right, B O R R hitting high day scanner. O P O P N T. ORBC, IBIO, all hitting high day scanner. What is Genus going to do? OAS squeezing. Look at that. Come on, baby, break two bucks. Look at OAS go. Go, OAS. You down with OAS? Yes. D L G D G L Y. Sweet. Glad it holds some shares. Just came back to four dollars and going. The sucker's gonna hit five bucks today. Sweet. Pay yourself a little bit, Matt. On that D G L Y. Pay yourself a little bit. And we're testing six on Genus. Come on, Genus. Give it to me, bitch. Hope the mother-in-law didn't hear that one. Give it to me, baby. All right, testing six, testing six. Come on, go red for me. If it breaks down past 594, we're going to be red on the day, and we should get a nice, nice flush on Genus. Here it comes, here it comes, and there it goes. Come on, there it goes. Yes, give it to me. Look at that. 
584, 579. All right, cover some. I covered a little bit at 580. Ooh. What the heck? All right, covered some more 584. We'll see if it can stay red on the day. On Genus, we'll see if it stays red. If it doesn't stay red, I'll get out. If it doesn't stay under six, has to stay under six. Meanwhile, Xpa's bouncing a little bit. Maybe I should add to my Xpa short here at 212. Did I add some there? Really, I wanted a 220. I'll wait. Yeah, no, I won't. I'll add a little bit. I'll dabble. Right? Ryan likes to dabble. Dabble. There we go. Added a tiny bit. <laughs> I might not take any more trades after this genus and X X pause over for the rest of the day. <laughs> Are you laughing, Henry? No, I stubbed my toe. Oh. I'm being serious. My my mother in law already told me that she she needs uh she needs labor outside. I'm like, is that a Mexican joke? Wow. Because I'm Mexican. Good for you, Matt Alvarado. Took some profits. Shorted CIDM. Bison did. No, the the in-laws are helping me um, uh, reap. I got some, you know, on the side of our house, we got some flowers and stuff, and the bricks are kind of, it's settled a little bit, so the bricks are uneven and kind of messed up, so we're basically, we got some sand, and we're making everything look nice and neat. So she wants to, that's what, that's what my in-laws do when they come to town. They just, basically, they're just slave labor. Same with my parents. They come to town and they just work. Dude, OAS. Breaking out over the pre-market highs. God, I want to buy OAS, actually. OAS. Yeah, if it keeps going, I might actually add to my position. I mean, the pre-market highs are 175. It's at 173. It spiked up. It pulled back. Hmm. Didn't pull back much, though. I'm going to leave it alone right now. Oh, yes. I'll just watch it. The last time it ran this much, this was about the highest it got, 180, 190. Matt, Alvarado, I'm glad you paid yourself on this DGLY up at four because it's looking kind of heavy right now. I'm wondering if it's going to break this upward trend from this morning. And we're getting more downside on Genus. Yep, fuck, Genus. Now, Genus potentially is going to be a buy soon. Either later today or tomorrow for a first green day. So if we look at Genus on the daily chart, okay, we've had this giant parabolic move. And then we're getting a low volume sell-off. Sold off on Friday. And, uh, yeah. So I'm thinking that we should get a buy opportunity sometime soon on this. Let me see. Let's look at a one hour chart so we can look at levels of support and resistance a little bit better. So, I mean, it really likes this, uh, the fives also down here 
or the I'm thinking like five dollars maybe if it goes to five dollars right now it's testing the pre-market lows at 567 so I'm if this thing goes down to five and starts holding support around five or maybe the high fours then I'm gonna be a buyer for a first green day we should because we're gonna get a bounce soon on genus VAL is starting to squeeze VAL WLL is squeezing. VAL. All right, I'm going to cover some more of this. Shares. Right. Genus cracking low a day. All right, covered some more at 552 on Genus. Meanwhile, OAS breaking the pre-market highs. XOG halted. XOG. At 96 cents. Must be an oil play too. I didn't miss that one. Look at that. We're getting panic down to the fives. I'm looking to be a buyer soon. On Genus. I'm going to just hang out with this XOG right now. And... All right. I'm long Genus at 524. And I'm still short. So I'm just going to hold. I'm going to hold my short until it finds a bottom. And then I'm going to add to my long. Oh, it makes it really hard not to cover some here, though. All right, covered some more at 516. Couldn't help it. Had to cover a little bit. I'm thinking five dollars. I bought some more genus at five twenty five. Kind of want to cover the rest of my shares, but I won't. I'll just hang out because this thing could go lower. ADIL hitting the high day scanner like crazy. Did you see that one or did you mention that one just now? What one? ADIL. Uh, no, I didn't. And there was one that was uh, halted. What was that one again? XOG. XOG. second now so I'm gonna see if it can slap down right away or if it starts to squeeze mmm <clears throat> XOG all right it's open it's not really it is open back hold that a little Gina's starting to bounce perfectly off that 525 area. Hey, thanks for that, Jonathan. I didn't know Odd Stock Trader uh, is mainly long buy, so I'm going to be focusing on him then look at some of his stuff. I'm about a 50-50% short seller. Wouldn't you say, Henry? Don't you think I'm 50-50 short, long? Mm -hmm. Or you think I'm more like 70-30? 70-30. I 
All right, I'm dabbling with XOG. I'm in at 97 cents. Henry's in XOG at 97 cents. It's over a dollar now. And we should look at the float on this. XOG float is... It's a big float. 138. 138 million. I'm not going to stick around long if don't hold a, a dollar, so... Dude, OAS. Approaching two. I almost I almost bought it at 170. XOG still going. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yup. OAS. God, what a buy, man. Man, I had like five thousand shares on Friday too. Jesus Christ. I'll just watch it for the I short now. Some more. It's gonna get halted. Yes. X O G. Okay, you know it's more right before the halt. Oh, it halted again? Yeah, I seen it stack it up, and I'm like, I'm gonna dive in some more. I might buy it if it holds a dollar. We'll see. Henry did the Ric Flair. You guys know what the Ric Flair is? Henry just did it. Two claps and a Ric Flair. HTZ going up. Man, there's all kinds of crap moving. And I told my mother-in-law... Sold the rest of the HTZ. My doors continuing to go. Yep. I got cells coming up here for that. OAS. Oh yeah, I should sell a little bit here at two bucks. So. Genus is bouncing towards red to green. Red to green is almost six, so I'm gonna look to add to my shorts. So I'm boxed in right now. I'm long from 525 and I'm short uh, from now 630. stocks would come back. All right, I'm just going to sit here and wait for this hole and see what happens. Hopefully my board just keeps going and hopefully my bow keeps going. Ah, oh, all right. I sold some of my genus long. Hmm, should I sell the rest? Oh, it's rolling over. I think I should. I like how my party's holding two bucks pretty good. Hopefully that makes another push to maybe two fifty, three bucks. Right, we just sold. Oh, I had some sell and four at one seventy five. Alright, I'm just gonna sit back and let these things work out for me. Dude, OAS over two bucks now, man. Okay, I didn't buy OAS, but it's definitely gonna be going on my top short seller list. Soon. Okay, I just sold a little bit at two bucks. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh short it now. Let me look at the We'll let this play out a little bit. I mean, the breakout was over a dollar on OAS, but it's definitely going moving to the top of my watch list very quick. So if we look at the daily chart on OAS, breakout is over a dollar. It's extended a little bit over. Yeah, so we'll just watch it. Definitely. I'm going to be watching that one for a short. 
see how it acts at two bucks. If it holds two bucks, it keeps grinding. Maybe we can get a day three out of it. I'd love to see a day three out of it. Mm, big pullback on it right now. On OAS. Is this a buy opportunity? Right here at 195? I kind of think it is. Oh, selling off even harder. Mm. Is that a buy opportunity on OAS? OAS? In 190s? All right, I took some at 193. Ooh. XOG is open. Up at 116. Looking heavy, it's gonna pull back. No, squeeze. Yeah, go baby. I added, so my, oh, my average price now is 106. Come on. I'm going to risk uh, 187 on this uh, OAS. I took small size, only about 1,000 shares, so we'll just let this one work. I think there's a good chance that this thing chops around $2 and maybe it squeezes out later today. Maybe we get a day three out of it tomorrow. XOG pulling back to 113 now. LK's plummeting. That's the that's one I was looking at last week for a short or watching it for a short. Ooh, wow. Damn. Tim Sykes says, HDII always gats up and does nothing. Annoying stock to watch. Well, don't watch it then. All right, OAS pulling back. Eh, it might go to 180. I am going to risk VWAP on OAS. Plus, that's the breakout, too, from the pre market Well, no, it's not. Yeah. XOG is holding a dollar really good. Buck five. Yeah, XAG, XOG holding over a dollar. Make me want to buy that one, Henry, on this pullback. Oh, I, sh I, wanted, I wanted it at dollar three, but missed it.
X Spa down at two bucks. Selling off some more down to the one nineties. OAS pulls back to VWAP 181. I think I'm going to buy some more and then risk like, and then if it can't hold VWAP, get out at like 179, 178. It's pulling back some more, but it looks like it's holding the 190s pretty well so far. Gina selling off down to the 530s. I added to my short up here. Uh, when it tested VWAP in the 160s. Added to my long right there on Genus at 534. So my new average is now 529. Still going to risk 524 on my long on Genus. Might want to cover my short down here. Maybe not. I covered some more of my short on Genus. And OAS. Oh, I missed that little drop down to 281. I was going to add right there. 283. 181. 181, yeah. Uh, I thought I had a buy order in. I didn't. I never pushed the button to buy. Fuck. I put the order, got the order all set up to buy at 181, never pressed the button. That's okay. I like how it got bought up right there, so I'm going to add a little bit here in the one at 192. We had a nice cushion on the day. So. We'll add to that winner X Spa down to 199. And if I would have been a little more patient, could have got it at 185. Mmm, look at that. X Spa really selling off. X Spa down to the 190s. Matt's back in OAS at 192. The, the high day break or the breakout is over 175. That's a really wide risk for 192, but I feel like it should hold that and then come back. It'll have some type of bounce. It looks pretty, it looks like it's getting bought up pretty well right here over VWAP on uh, OAS. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, that bid's stacking up like crazy in the 180s. Yeah, See if sorry, it keeps selling off. It already what? It has 91 million volume. It's a day two. The last time ran, it had like three or 400 million the last time it ran. <clears throat> Starting to come back. I'm gonna buy some more. I bought some more at 192. FOMO got me. Fuck. So hopefully it holds this VWAP level. XOG, back over a buck. You still in that, Henry? Uh, yep. I just had an alert I had set for a CBGI. Just broke out on the daily at $3. OAS, holding the 180s, holding over VWAP. Come on, OAS. Don't let us down. There we go. Starting to curl a little bit on OAS. Uh, thoughts on party. P-R-T-Y. Let's look at that one real quick. Hmm. Wow. Kind of consolidating, going sideways right now. Could go either way. Yeah. Holding two nicely. It's holding two. But the bottom could fall out or it could just squeeze up. I really have no bias on it right now. I can't say one way or the other. It's just, it's coiling right now. It's coiling, it's tightening up. I'm starting to like this OAS more and more though. Expo looking weak. Might want to get some covers ready. Can fall fast. Yeah, Expo is looking weak. Uh, so for me, what I'm going to do is if Expo, I'm going to stay, sh I'm going to stay short until X if Expo reclaims VWAP and starts consolidating over VWAP and getting near high day, I'm, I'll cover. But other than that, I think I might just put in a stop loss at around like Maybe like 216. I don't know. I'll probably watch it and not put in a stop loss yet. But I think this has the potential to crack low a day. I mean, if we look at the daily chart on it, I mean, we got some we got some 
room to sell off. At least down to 150, I'm thinking. On Expa, at least down to 150 before we get a bounce on it. Made, just broke pre-market highs. B-O-R-R. -R. Oh, wow. We're up to 183 on BOR. Yep. B-O-R-R. -R, breaking the pre-market highs. Nice. All right. We're back up to almost $2 on... Uh, OAS, OAS is looking, setting up to be a nice chart. Look at that VWAP hold. Mm. Mm. Things that make you go, mm. Oh, we're squeezing up to two now. I don't want it to double top at the 225 range. I want it to blow past through it. I just sold a tiny bit at 202, which was a bad sell, so I wouldn't recommend anybody sell there. He loves to start selling in that. Strength. Yeah. Because I know it's about to pull back. <clears throat> it's got over 100 million volume, just give it patience. I sold. Give it up at BWEB. I sold my genus long. At 524, Genus is heading lower. I still got my short. See if it double bottoms here. Is it going to double bottom here or is it going to break down and flush out more? Looks like we're headed lower on Genus. So those are good short ads that I had up there in the 560s. Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. Genus looks like it's wanting to find a bid here. Because we know Genus is going to bounce. I can't help it. I got, I, I, it's holding. Yeah, it's holding. For now, it could go sideways and then flush out later. Xbox still selling off. OAS. Did you get an O? You're still in OAS, huh? From way earlier. Did you add? Yep. Did you add to your short or add to your long at all? No. Uh. Oils is hovering at 38. If oil breaks 40, these will run. Ah, oh, good insight, Matt. Genus launches their Cartoon Network on June 15th. Could be a long play for the week. I agree 100%. It already sold off. That's why I'm longing it now. I mean, we've seen it a thousand times before. You get a big parabolic move. It squeezes two, three, four, five days, however many days. It has a low volume sell-off. You know, sells off 50% of its gains or whatever, and then it bounces. You know, for a couple of days. A couple of days.
Just like Mark. Remember? A couple of weeks ago? Just like Mark. Buying in, it, it squeezed up, buy it in the 130s, sell it fucking up at three or two. Mark did the exact same thing. So did CLVS, so did SPCB. Same, same fucking pattern. That XOG is setting up nicely for a squeeze. There it is. Look, squeeze up on Mark, pulls back, buy it in the 130s, sell it. I mean, Christ, I would have sold it here at two for sure. I would have never have held it to 356, but. What what did you say is up to 356, Henry? My XOG is up to 114. 14. Yep, it's looking nice. I got it up on a watch. I almost bought it at a dollar, but. I don't want to be watching too much stuff. I got to go out and do some labor for the in-laws here soon. But I'm real. This is. I think this OAS is going to be my uh, all-day hold. Maybe it can have a third green day in it. Yeah, I'm not selling it. I mean, I have an awesome price size or price position, but unless it squeezes to, I mean, three dollars or something crazy, then I'll sell a little bit. Oh, Jamie, nice profit, man. He shorted Mark. 512 bucks. Good job, Jamie. Nice. Yeah, you, yeah, you hit me up this morning. He told me this morning he was going to short that. Nice. You covered it. Don't be too uh, punkish. I'd be watching. I'd be careful with the Hexel. I've, I've traded that thing multiple times, and I know it just hit a dollar. I'm watching it, but Ooh. last time I did it, hit like a buck five, buck ten, and then it just went the other way. This talks that there could be a potential reverse split like ACB was, so. Well, it is a breakout on the daily chart. Look at that breakout. That's why it's squeezing. Multi-day breakout. Do they have any news? Hexel? Yeah. They put out news days ago of new Tsunami 30G flower format exclusively to medical clients. But they were on the verge of getting delist delisted because they were under a dollar for so long. And I mean, I hope it keeps going, but how many, how many times have you heard me talk about Hexel? A lot. Henry loves that one. Henry yeah. loves Hexel like he loves f -Cell. Speaking of f -Cell, it's up in... Are you talking about HTZ, Matt Alvarado? H or H HZN? What's HZN? HZN. I think he's talking about HZ HCZ. Man, that heck's so squeezing though. Hey, you know what, Pal Cash? That's it's working for you. Long from ninety-two cents. Look at that. Got twelve cents on it. Nice work. Guess what, bitches? Guess what my AOS is doing? Picture perfect trade on an AOS. Let's get up. God, what a sweet looking deal we got here on OAS. <clears throat> Boom, pulls back, squeezes, and it's going higher. Damn it, man. I had so many shares of this on. It's looking good, Ocho. I sold a little bit of my uh, OAS there at 205. Just, I've only, I still got, I only sold a quarter of it. Looking good, Ocho. Anybody remember what movie that's from? It's a movie from like, it's, it's like the late 1970s. Anybody remember? Cheech and Chong? No, it's a movie. I'll give you a hint. It's a movie about a car. Oh, did you get my text message? Looking good, Ocho. Nobody, no. nobody remembers that movie. 
Nobody probably even saw it. It wasn't that popular. So, Hexo just hit a dollar five. Now it's pulling back to a dollar one. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a message from you, Henry. I'm talking to my sister. Sorry. Oh, Henny's in at 192 also. Nice. Look, at we're all in it together. Maybe that's why it's going up. I'll be right back, Ryan. Okay. Mmm, looks like my dip buy might be working on uh, Genus. Look at that. Put in a higher low right there. So we're coming back. See if it can get over 550 and hold. Start grinding back. I think x is about to go to the toilet. That's why I haven't covered any yet. Well, I covered some earlier, but I added back into this bounce. Covered into the flush this morning and then added into this bounce. But I think this, this thing's going sideways. I think you're... Soon we're going to break sideways price action. We're going to go lower. I want 150 out of XBA. Okay, I'm completely out of my genus short for now. I'm completely out. I'm only long now. From $5.26. So I can risk low a day or I can risk my entry. Honestly, if it breaks down and goes lower, I just want to add to it. And hold it for a few days. I think this thing's gonna bounce. I also like the fact that they got that they got that uh, they're launching their Cartoon Network on June fifteenth. So I like the fact that it's got an upcoming event. The only thing that's kind of scary is they might do an offering at any time now. These fucks. They need money. Yes. And if you looked at the fundamentals on the SEC filings, they're they're not in good shape. So I'll watch it and then it just, it They're a fucking... It starts squeezing more and getting to the dollar twenty five, dollar fifty, maybe you can sell it, yeah, a few hundred more shares. Real estate and mortgage company stocks are also up. Is everybody so, buying houses or what? I'll, I'll, I'll call you back, okay? WMC and Mac. We'll get back. I had to get on the phone and tell my, I told my, my sister, I got her, she bought a few thousand shares of Hexa when it was down to like 50 cents, so I told her to sell it, so she just doubled her money. Well, of course, is she, oh, she didn't know if she should sell yet or not? Well, I, I keep an eye on it for her, so. Still haven't gotten anything from her for all the money I make her. She's your sister. What does that have to do with the price of eggs in China? Mm, I guess you're right. It's taking my... What's the phrase I'm looking for? My mental... Your 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 mental capital. There you go. Takes up your mental... Yeah, you gotta think about it. Worry about it. Or you I could see. be like from the other side of the coin, you know. Uh, you don't worry about the... Don't worry about the fruit. Just put in the work. And the fruit will come. But I guess that's 
pertaining to your own account, not hers. I'm sure if she gets enough, she's going to give you some. Yeah, I'm looking at Mac and uh, these mortgage companies. Look at my board. Man. Breakout? Something's setting up way better than OAS. Damn, board is going good, isn't it? All right, board gets to get put on the fucking watch list. B O R R. Guess what, Bore? You made the top ten. The top ten. <laughs> oh wow! Second big green day extension. Hmm. Hopefully, can get over this two sixteen. This thing's got a lot of room to go, man. This is the, uh, I don't normally, because we try not to force each other to buy stocks, but I did tell you about this one Friday. I'm like, you should buy this thing. It's a previous runner. Henry, I can't, dude, you tell, you give me so many tickers. Like, you know what I mean? I can't buy everything. <laughs> well, I dabble on a lot of stuff. But I know, sure but that, but. You dabble. I fucking have a hard. I have a hard time not when I buy something or long it. I, you know, you know who I am Henry. I go when I go. I go hard, motherfucker. There goes my party. Just squeezed over to two twenty. No shit. You still have party, Matt Alvarado? I hope you do, sir. Remember, we didn't know. There it goes. Remember, we said it's going to rip one or the other. Dang, dude. PRTY. Okay. So Look at that. Oh. And you're still long from a dollar, Henry? Yep. Jesus Christ. We can't do anything wrong, feels like. Well, I just, I mean, it's a party supply company. I just knew it was going to go up, just how long it was going to take. I mean, I only had it a, a, I mean, I already sold the majority of my shares. I think when I initially bought this, I bought like a thousand shares because it was on its 52 week lows. And I'm like, well, it's all because of the coronavirus. And then when stuff started opening up, people are going to have parties. Duh. Makes perfect sense. I was long this one with a dollar. I was long. I was long. This is actually one that Henry was like. He, he said that exact same thing to me, uh, week before last, and and I longed it with him at a dollar, and of course I, I was like, dude, I can't hold this thing. And got out, but then it gapped up the next day. And it just gradually gapped, held its gains, and I'm like, well, I'm just gonna ride it out. Oh no, man! I'm really liking this OAS more and more. This 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 setup right here. Let me look at the daily one more time. Second green day. God, man, I'm so mad at myself. I didn't hold my shares from Friday. Fuck, dude. Squeeze broke over two. Bore is over two. Please keep going. So right now, top potential short watches for me are OAS, which I'm long. I still we're on the front side of the move. OAS, Bore, and Party. They're all becoming multi-day runners. So with Party moving, OAS and Bore, um, and it's just put me. Over twelve hundred bucks for the day. I think I'm done for the month. He says I'm done for the month. <laughs> I, I, I made over five grand already, and I'm that's I'm that's my I mean ba almost basically my goal for the month. <clears throat> Fuck that, Henry. Let's go. Super conservative place because I'm not giving it back. All right, we'll take care of those kids, Matt. They got dental appointments. 
Okay, now you can pay for them. <laughs> there, yeah, you, there you go. Buying is uh, another mortgage stock that I is in is IVR. It's liking these mortgage movers. I agree, Matt. The fact that it was on your radar is progress. Fuck yeah. You're exactly right, dude. Mmm. Look at my look at my genus buy, dude. Setting up nicely. This thing gets over six bucks. We're gonna have a squeezer. I'm adding. I'm adding soon. I'm gonna be adding to my position. Put your XOG with squeeze. Yeah, it's consolidating over one though, man. Looks good. I should have bought on that little pullback. Dude, this XOG looks nice, man. I mean, I'm not going to get greedy. I mean, I'd love to see a buck fifty, and I'd probably be selling it all. Or at least raising my stop loss up, of course. All right, I can't help it. I'm in. FOMO got me. I'm in on XOG, even though I should have bought it near one. I'm just going to risk a dollar. Or I'm going to risk VWAP. Well, basically, this would be a triple top if it gets rejected here about 118, huh? So, it's either going to go here. XOG. Oh, yeah. I just, don't, I just hope it don't trade all day between a dollar and a dollar ten. It's so annoying. <sighs> oh, yes, pulling back. Reason four four thousand three hundred fifty eight. Why I don't have kids. <laughs> I see what Matt put right above me. Uh, I need Henry's money to pay for them. <laughs> Dude, you got two kids that need braces. That does sound expensive. It's a joke. I always tell Brian when he complaining about having kids and married, I always say reason 483 or reason 1065. Well, I don't have kids. <laughs> they are a lot of responsibility. Oh, OAS pulling back. Oh, shoot. Dang it. SPCB making a comeback over VWAP now. Oh, that was I a top percent to gainer today. Yeah. Alright, I just turned on my focus onto that one to see if it's going to hold VWAP here. Damn it, how did I miss that? Uh, I'm like 20 cents late. You know me, I like to buy them right before they try to test VWAP, and they missed it. Let's do focus on all the other ones that are winning. I added back my shares on OAS that I sold earlier.
I'm gonna keep my risk pretty wide on OAS. I'm gonna risk a uh, dollar seventy-four, which would be the breakout over the pre-market highs. So that's what I'm expecting to hold. I mean, I'm expecting VWAP to hold, but sometimes these things dip below VWAP and then they uh, come back, and I don't want to get shaken out. See, that's why I add it looks like OAS starting to get bought up right here, VWAP. God, I feel like there's so much stuff to watch today. There is a lot of, a lot of moving parts today. Yes. And then, and then we're throwing in the mortgage companies too. I mean, I, I you know, you guys are throwing out several tickers of the mortgage companies buying them has and. I haven't even really looked at them because there's just too much stuff. Yeah, I had it. So mad at myself. I had MFA on my watch list. I was going to buy it if it got to three bucks. And it tanked. Could have got it around three. But. Oh well. I added a little bit to my genus long at 5.55. Um, might be a little premature with that ad. I probably should wait till it at least gets over VWAP or gets over six dollars and officially green on the day. And I mean, I I don't even know if it'll go green on the day today. So I might be a little early with that ad, but it, I could see this. Bouncing maybe the seven or eight bucks, maybe nine. Brings my average up to five thirty two. Oh, expa starting to come back. Damn it, I missed it. Son of a bitch. What'd you miss, Henry? SPCB. Oh. I tried to buy it at two fifty and damn it. Should have pulled I should have bought it on that red candle that was the wick was getting bought up. Son of a bitch. Oh, I'm buying right now. Give me some give me some give me FOMO got me, I'm in at two fifty five. S B S P C B Let's look at it. S P C B and he's buying the breakout over the high. What what price you get it at again? Two fifty five. Two fifty five. It's got a float of eleven million, eleven point six million. Oh fuck! All my money's disappearing on Expa. Look at that two seventy three, and we're squeezing. Eh, it might be a place to add. Maybe it's an ad. I added to my short on X-Ball. I think that this is going to be a higher low. I'll risk high day. 
That XOG is just holding over a dollar perfectly, isn't it? Yeah, Henry, you said you were out for the day. Yeah, well, I can't pass this opportunity. He had a, an, he had a, what is it called when they do an amendment in the SEC filing? A 4-2-B-2? He had a 4-2-B-2, remember? He had an amendment. He said only... Besides the pre-market gap, or gap ups, this is my favorite setup, but... Breaks through VWAP, and I, nine times out of ten, I'm gonna dabble and see if it's gonna start to squeeze or if it's just gonna get rejected. And it's not getting, re it didn't get rejected right away. I mean, it's pulling back now, but I mean, I put my stop loss in at my entry, so I can't lose any out of the trade anymore. So, God, OAS is starting to scare me a little bit. Don't do it. After this, and done. God damn it, OAS. Yeah, that XOG is nice. Got a nice little bull flag set up. So I'm hoping it squeezes up and not tank. No! Alright, I'm out of OAS. Even though it's probably a bad sell. So I hate selling into weakness. Hate it. Alright, here's the VWEP test on XOG. Man, lots of selling happening on OAS. I wonder if they had any news come out or something. Oh, this, I mean, the spy is going down, so. A lot of stocks are going down. in my OAS so I'm not giving all my profits back. Guess I should have shorted it, huh? They, uh, they do have, oh, their news was 21 days ago, so nothing recent. I'm out of XOG also. And I'm about to be out of, uh,
X buff, it breaks. If X buff breaks 220, I'm getting out of that one too. I don't believe it's gonna. It could, I guess. I was thinking it was gonna have another day of selling off. Shorted some more expo near high day. We'll see if it rejects, but I don't have to keep the wrist pretty tight. If it gets over high day, I can't stay in it. God, OS looks like it's about to die, huh? There's no way it can come back from that, can it, Henry? It wasn't, it's not looking good, so I put a stop loss in the... E the stop loss when it got here. Back to OS. Look at Ian OB, Henry. It sold off hardcore. I knew this was going to sell off. I tried to short up here in the 17s this morning. I mean, it's starting to find a base, a little bit of a base. Like this one, this is, we should keep this one on watch. If it starts coming back and it reclaims VWAP. I like the news on it. A cure for HIV. You're right, Henry. I'm going to throw an alert on that one, too. ENOB, if it gets over... I put it if it hits 10 bucks. Yeah, that's what I was fixing to say. $10. Then we'll at least look... There's a little look... around that area. Yeah, at least look at it. Yeah. So, I got... Thank you for bringing that one up, Brian. Set the alert. $10. All right. Genus. Consolidating. OAS. Big sell off and a little bounce. Hmm. X spa that ad's starting to look good. Man, I don't know what to think of OAS now. Now that it couldn't hold view, it looks so picture perfect holding that view app, and now it just dipped below. I mean, can it come back, or is it is it a short now? Oh, the wheat stocks are moving? Oh, yeah. Hence why Palcast is long. Hexo. ACB, they're all moving. And they're still squeezing.
Look at the chair in an ACB setting up a bull flag like it's gonna squeeze and freaking test the. Hmm. Yeah, it's on the daily chart. It's had some nice consolidation. It's been holding. It's put in a bull flag. Ran out for three days. Pulled back for a couple. Bounced. And now it's consolidating. On the daily chart. Big pullback on boar. Damn. That was a big pullback. I could have shorted that morning spike. Oh, rejected. 215. Rejected by the previous highs. But if boar holds and can start putting in the higher lows, if it gets over 210 or the multi multi-day breakout would be yeah if it gets over uh, 213 216 multi-month breakout it could really squeeze up I like boar I like the chart I like it too hopefully it can hold and keep going I think it does actually A board. Look at look at the till um look at till race chart. It's the exact same as ACB. Nice ball flag. It's hovering around ten dollars. I might buy some boron on a, on a dip when it, it dip, like it's kind of bouncing right now after it bounces if it can pull back and put in a higher low maybe a 170 or so in the 170s puts in a higher low I might grab snag some there on a dip Brian wants to snag on the dip <sighs> Uh, on the yeah. Boom! My party just hit 2.30. Sweet! Oh, party wow. Party and I cry at the whole team. Cry at the whole team. You would cry too. Party. Party, party, party. God, I want to add... Golly! What a nice looking daily chart on party. Okay, I'm not going to short it. I'm not going to short it. I'm not going to short it. Still on the front side of the move. Let it squeeze out. I just added to it. There you go. Henry's adding. God, what a nice looking... Look at this daily. It's beautiful. All right. It has resistance up at three. So I might start in on some short near three. So my dollar average that um, I had on party since I added, I'm at a dollar ninety three now.
Herbie Goes Bananas. Looking good, Ocho. That was the name of the movie. Herbie Goes Bananas. Oh, I haven't seen that. You remember that movie? Yeah. Remember? Looking good, Ocho. DGLY Squeeze. Sweet, so shares of that. Ooh, up to four forty eight now. Oh, got a little my stop loss up. My stop loss up to four twenty. DGLY breaking the pre market highs. Look at Party Go up up almost to two fifty now. Oh shoot, I gotta get back. Gotta get too much. I got this. I got it. So a little bit at two fifty. Okay, I shorted uh, DGLY at 440. I had a feeling it was just going to get rejected. It, it's already came back so much from this huge sell-off this morning from 279 all the way up to, up to the pre-market highs. So I figured the pre-market highs would act as some good resistance. So as soon as I seen that, I got short at 440 exactly. So we'll see what happens with this one. I mean, really, if it pulls back to four, I'll probably cover. You know, that'll... Or I'm going to cover some at four for sure. Because, I mean, that could... It, this thing could just... It could find support at four and then keep grinding and come back and go more. Right, Henry? That's true. Which I'm hoping it does. Shit, it's finding support right here at uh in the 430s. Fucker. And there she comes back. I'll risk 450. Yeah, I moved my stop loss up to 4 420. Actually, and now that I think about it. Uh, the less I like my short, because when I look at the daily chart, this is day one of the breakout, man. Look at this. Today's the day where it finally got over. So, I mean, last week on Genus, when day one of the breakout, that was just the start of the fucking, of the major move. So, I mean... But I still might get a pullback back to four on this where I can cover and then hopefully it just goes higher. But yeah, I'm definitely not going to be stubborn with this short. If this thing gets over 450, I am fucking gone. Look at that. Squeeze in. It's gonna get over gonna get over 450. Oh, push through it. Definitely got resistance there for sure. Well, sold. I almost covered right there. There it is. I got to get out. Oh. Yes. Oh. Of course it got slapped down, but it's still going to push. It's trying. God, I'm so mad. Why didn't I buy freaking Tilray or Cronus or ACB? Perfect bowl charts and they all breaking out. There's literally like 30 stocks I could be buying right now. There's like so many things moving right now. It's Gosh, amazing. look at DGLY. It's amazing. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. Go, go, go. Go, go, Gadget Wheels. What's that from? Inspector Gadget. Duh. Okay.
Inspector Gadget. Na -na -na -na. Let's see how Ben's American Airlines doing. 19 bucks, not moving. Yeah, we're gonna hit five. I said that earlier. I said five. I wonder if I wonder if Metal Rodder still has some of it. Clovis is making a move. Oh, that is a good thought, Matt. DGLY. Yep, they do sell body cams. I know they sold a bunch. I think it was Kansas City Police Department. Dude, the... Uh, the Minis the S Minneapolis police to start a police department. Uh, my wife told me last night that they disbanded. There's no police department in Minneapolis now. Like what the hell? What happens whenever they have like there's a domestic abuse or there's like a crime, you know, a bank robbery or I mean, you know what I mean? How does that work? Well, did you see the Facebook memes? It was. One where it had the operator, somebody calling the police and mm. saying something like that, that. Somebody's trying to break in my house or whatever. And the operator says, do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> or, and then there's another one that they say, well, we're praying for you or something like that. Holding 450 pretty well now. Definitely looks like it's getting bought up. Come on, people, buy it up for me. Meanwhile, my party's hitting high new high day, 255 and going. Woo! All right, I covered my DGLY on this little pullback. So I'm out now. My short. Because probably going to get bought up right here and go higher. I almost covered into this into this squeeze over the, you know, this breakout. I almost covered into that strength. But I was like, I'm not covering into the strength. I'm going to fucking wait, let it pull back, and then get out. You know, so I only lost like 30 bucks on it, 20 bucks, something like that. Or I could have lost like almost 300. Sold some party at 265. Hell, I should probably long DGLY right here. Day one of the breakout. Pull 
Put me in, coach. I just longed it. DGLY. I'm ready to play today. Day one of the breakout pulls back to the pre-market highs, to the breakout area. I can risk. I can risk the 430s. Probably should risk more than that, though. I my stop loss at 420. <clears throat> I just like the fact that it's day one of the breakout. Multi-day breakout, day one. Henry said it's going to five, too. With Catalyst. How high is this thing going, Henry? Not the only thing. They don't just sell to police officers. They sell to private... You know, uh, private security companies. They have the biggest um, inventory. No, they had like a biggest. Uh, oh God, I can't think. Contract or something, and I don't, it wasn't. I don't think it was the police body camps for two point five. I think they had another bigger one before that. So it's, it's like the go-to company to actually buy body cams and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. I just like the daily chart a lot on it. And I like the fact that it's the breaking police, out of the pre-market highs. It just helped that the police bought some now and then the riots. And then so it's just it's getting more... More FaceTime now. Okay, so that's more of the fundamental side of things. I'm from the technical side of things. Like, okay, so look at Genus on the daily. Here, I'm pulling it up. Look at Genus on the daily. So, right here, day one of the breakout, it went from the twos to the fours. And that was just the beginning of the move. The move really, the, the the real movie move happened the next day after the breakout. So this could just be the beginning right here on 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 DGLY because it's the same thing. This is day one of the breakout. Already a little more extended, but. Maybe it just sells off. I'm out of expo. No more. I'm out completely out. Come on, D G L Y. Hold. 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 Man, do I add to my DGLY? On this yank, I could get a better, better price. I had my stop loss at 420. I thought it was gonna take me out. It's it's holding above it, so hopefully, it holds 420. I added some there at 4.30. Also with X-Spa, the 
the red to green on XBA for those short sellers out there, it is 236. So if this makes it up to the 230s, I'm going to reshort. Meanwhile, DGLY bouncing a little bit. Okay, got some executed short on X spot 228. Red to green is 237. There you, hey, Jorge, here's a question for you, Henry. Henry, happen to have any news on NOK? It's up to 4.49 today. Jorge likes that one. Nokia? I mean, it's basically the Ew. I mean, same thing. You know, I told you last time. I mean, they, it's it's keeps going up. It's a swing trade. It's just, it doesn't move much during the day. It's like, that's why we're not going to probably trade it. Cause... Jorge also says, Buy OL announces pricing of 6.9 registered direct offering price at the market. Is this good news? No, that is not good news. Whenever a company does an offering, the stocks usually crash. They need money. So when these stocks... Yeah, it's altered. It hasn't even been open today. When these stocks... Uh, by OL? Yeah. So, I mean, we're these are publicly traded companies. So when they do an offering, that means that they're... and it was trading at 67 cents before it shut down at the market so it, I mean it could squeeze since it's already above it you know what I mean I don't know if you got it pulled up yet Brian but 
Oh, by O L. Yeah. Anyway, so sorry, I got sidetracked. So a lot of these companies, they pump their stocks up so they can get the price up high. And uh, depending on what type of, so it's, they might do an offering or, or they might have warrants that need to get exercised. So warrants are like basically what they do is, is warrants, they have shares that are, so they'll go to investors and say and say say they'll go to an investor and say, "Hey, look, my stock is at twenty five cents right now, but uh, I'll give you, you know, x amount of shares um, at a discount, but you can't exercise those shares. You can't put those shares. You can't you can't sell those shares until the price gets to like say like a dollar fifty. Then they pump the stock up. It squeezes up." And then they exercise those investors are able to exercise those warrants and sell those shares and it dilutes the shareholders. It just it it creates more supply. I probably should have looked up the actual definition because that's kind of a shitty explanation. Gives you an idea. So they, I, I looked at the news. So it was uh, their warrants, or the it was sixty four cents. So when it got halted this morning in pre market, they were still trading above sixty seven cents. So it actually might when they open it up, whenever it might actually not tank because it's already trading above what the offer is. I don't know. So yeah, anytime... Anytime, as far as the, the offering, so uh, direct public offering is, is just basically is when a company offers, offers its securities or more shares um, directly to the public to raise capital. So they offer shares to raise capital. Because they need money. So here it is. Bio last announces price of six point nine million to register direct offering price at the market. So today announced it has entered into securities purchase agreement with institutional investors to purchase approximately six point nine million of its common stock in at a registered direct offering price at the market under NASDAQ rules and warrants to purchase common stock and concurrent private placement. This is exactly what I was talking about. The combined purchase of one share of common stock and warrant to purchase one share of common stock will be 64 cents. So they did it. So it wasn't it wasn't that they're doing yeah, it wasn't that they're uh announcing a pricing of 6.9 million. It's they were they wanted to 
purchase approximately 6.9 million of common stock. So they're actually the the purchase price. The uh, so it says the combined purchase price for one share of common stock and the and warrant to purchase one share of common stock will be at 64 cents. So no, that's not that good of news. Okay, so here you go. Also reading on, under the terms of the purchase agreement, uh, the warrants will be immediately exercisable and will expire in 5.5 years. So, so, so now, okay, so under the terms of the securities purchase agreement, BioLace has, the, uh, has agreed to sell 10.8 million shares of common stock in private placement. So they put these in private, the, the warrants, they put them in private placement, which will be... Con- consummated concurrently with the off with the offering BioLess has agreed to issue warrants to purchase up to an aggregate of 10.8 million shares of common stock the warrants will be immediately exercisable so they can they can exercise the investors can exercise these warrants at any time and will expire in 5.5 years from the date of the issuance and will have an exercise price of uh, 5.51 cents so right now it's over that but I mean if you had bought the price is at 64 cents. I mean, you're going to want the stock to go up. So, I mean, they probably aren't going to exercise these warrants for a while. They got five and a half years. But when this stock goes up, just know that there's a lot of shares just being weighted to dump into the market, which is going to dilute 10.8 million shares on BioL. It could go up, but just know that that's there. If, if you go long on this, and this thing starts to squeeze. Know that you have people waiting there to do. They're waiting to do this offering, exercise their warrants. So, and when that happens, the stock most likely will get slapped the fuck down, hard and fast. I was. Uh, they did an offering with Genus, and I was right in the middle of it. I was long Genus at at two dollars and ten cents. So let's go maybe 10 days ago on Genus. This gives you an idea. Right here on Genus. I long Genus and was holding VWAP at 210, squeezing. I sold half in the 260s. And then look at this. It drops a dollar a share because they did an offering. Out of nowhere. Meanwhile, fuck genus. Let's think about DGLY. Look at that. Mm. I like a DGLY more and more. You happy at it? Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you did. When I first, I didn't catch it the first time I watched it, and I'm like, was that what I think it was? And I rewatched it, and then I started laughing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're not weird people, just. Henry just likes it when I talk to him in a high pitched voice. Fucking, yeah. Fucking fag. No offense to anybody that's homosexual out there. I did not mean to, uh, you know, fags, fag and bitch are terms of endearment. Bertie says, "Morning, guys. Crazy volatility again." Yes, it was. How high is DGLY going to go, Henry? I don't know. I want to take a nap. I'm super tired. I didn't sleep worth the crap last night. I didn't either. My wife started 
sleeping with me again instead of with the baby because the baby's in the crib now and it's back to hogging up the bed and the baby just kept waking up over and over and over I'm just like god what the frick Look at OAS holding 180. Ooh, I like it. Right below the BWAP, that, that's a good sign for a potential squeeze. I forgot about the one I put my stop loss in. I'm like, if it hits it, it'll be done. Thinking about rebuying it. I'm just doing the BWAP test. The BWAP test. Yeah, I did. I probably should have waited till it got closer to 175. I might not do that. I might push through VWAP here and start squeezing. That's why I bought a little. Yeah, I did too. You did? Yep. You dirty dog. Henry bought some too. He liked oh, yeah. the, it. Had such a good position. I'm like, I might as well. He likes the consolidation. Yep. What about the consolidation on Genus, dude? Look at it. Dude, I'm, my my average was seventy five cents. My price. So on, be stupid not to add. On what? On OAS. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. I agree, 100%. So now my new average is 130. That's fantastic. I haven't looked at Genius at all today. Too many other stocks. Oh, God, look at Party. Oh, fuck, I missed the short. Is it crapping out? Oh, from 270 all the way, golly, it squeezed up and I didn't short any. I'm just sad I missed like that, such a big drop, 60 cents a share. I sold at 250, 260, and 270, and then held. Damn it, man. Oh, party. Go back to my original, yes, excuse yes. me, 100 shares that I had before I just added earlier. Mm. Right before that push, so I sold in that push, but. Is it a short now? That's a pretty hard yank. It's still holding about VWAP though, so I don't know. But. Henry I, doesn't like, the, Henry, the, when I say, is it a short? Yeah, Henry's like, no, don't say that. I don't, we're not there yet. Like, well, you're usually early, so. Yeah, that's why I'm trying not to be. I know, good job. Well, not really, because I missed it. That's why I'm early sometimes. All right, so back on my radar is N E. This DGLY is looking pretty freaking good. Why did Party drop so much?
because some people left the party. Get it? <laughs> I get it. It's a good one, Henry. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a gangsta party. Fuck party. This company sucks. I'm so mad I missed the short on it. Look at hey, look at DGLY though. Like the company's amazing. Amazing. Look at DGLY. Made me enough money to have a party. DGLY want to test the highs. Mm mm mm. Today, just give it some time. We going to five dollars. I'm gonna sell some at five though. Ready here. Is it? Is it even to make five? Is it gonna get the five? It's having trouble here. Maybe five bucks. It goes to five. No, I think you're right. It's got fifty-six million volume. <clears throat> There it goes, Henry. Maybe. God, I feel like I should sell some here. I sold some. It's scaring me. Come on, you fucker. DGLY gonna double top up here. Maybe I should short some just in case. Ah, oh, got some short. Now I feel better about my long. I'm not so scared now. Should have just sold all my long up there. 475 looks like the top. Maybe not. I always think that. Oh, it's getting bought up now. Look at that. There she goes. Or he goes, or it goes. I'm back. What are you talking about? DGLY. There she goes, giving it up? No, going back up. Oh, yeah. OAS. <laughs> Trying to regain the web. Bye, oh well. 
Ryan Dem says, look at IVR. IVR. Whoa. Holy shit. Third green day. Up to three. Thank you very much, Brian Dem. This is going on the watch list. IVR. Nice looking chart. IVR. Yeah, squeezing up. Gonna be a good short soon. Maybe. Not ready yet, though. Looking real strong. Just wait. DGLY. I'm not buying it if IVR, because third green day. I can't buy it that high, but I like it because I'll, I'll watch it for a short. Uh, X ball party. Party, what do I do with party? All right. You're, you're right, Henry. It's going to go to five. Heck yeah. Come on. TGLY. Squeeze. Four se four seventy one. Put my new stop loss at four sixty nine on DGLY. Come on, the heck, four sixty nine, not fifty nine. I should have got executed right there at 4.69, but maybe my internet's slower up here. I don't know. Be right back. So is anybody else in anything right now? Oh, you cannot change this order because it either A little bit. I'm figuring it out, though.
my internet, my my box is all the way downstairs now. So, dang it, I wish I would have sold into that pop towards 480. Okay, I should be out now. I should be out. How come I not getting executed? I'm not getting executed. Why? Why am I not getting executed on DGIL? DGYL? Come on, you fucker. It's so annoying. Why am I not getting executed? I had a stop loss in. Execute that shit. Uh, what the hell? Come on, man. What the hell is going on? Oh, come on, E Trade. What are you doing to me? What the hell is going on? Okay, fine. So weird. Did you get executed? No. Jesus Christ, let me out. Why isn't... It's not letting me do anything on any position. It's not letting me cancel any orders. It's not letting me... It's like I'm just... On the main website, did you try that? That's what I'm trying to do it at. Oh. I mean, it's still holding trend. Jesus Christ, why isn't it let me do anything? All right, I gotta call E-Trade because it's, it's not letting me execute any orders, nothing at all. I can't get out of anything, I can't get any, I can't do anything. It's just, right. it's just fucking deer in the headlights. You just gonna put it on mute? Uh, well, I need to call, it's already almost 11 anyway, so we'll call the, call the live stream. It was a good live stream, it was fun, yeah. but kind of sucks I gotta end it by calling fucking E-Trade and, come on, these fucks won't let me out at a stop.